affected by this who just waited too long until something happened mm -hmm. to get it checked out, where if you go through and do these screenings, you can catch things before they happen. Preventative, that's what the yeah. doctor said. 80 to 90% of this needs to be preventative. But too many have been in our family. I mean, it's yeah. just it's we've had way, crazy. We've had way too many. Luckily, all of them have survived, and we are grateful mm -hmm. for that. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, three degree guarantee, not so great. We thought it would be a little bit cooler today. Uh, we went 62, I believe, and it was 68. Mm. But, you know, all is not lost here. It's good, it's good news for the uh, February uh, charity. By the way, we're going to go uh, 58 uh, for tomorrow. Uh, dreams for kids, though. Get another check from us. That's good. Okay, live look outside. It's our live Michael and Son Weather Cam. We're down to 50, which is, I mean, I say down to 50 because, yeah, we've fallen from 68 to 50, but that's still above our average high for the day. Winds northeasterly at about 8. So bus stop temperatures, chilly, 36 to 48, but dry. And we're talking about some clouds coming in tomorrow, but don't leave your sunglasses at home. Not as warm Tuesday with some afternoon clouds. Some showers Tuesday night and Wednesday. I got to tell you, they're going to be few and far between. Not looking at a yellow weather, weather alert. And then the 70s are going to return uh, Thursday and Friday to uh, end our week. All right, future cast tomorrow morning. Fair amount of clouds, just high and mid-level clouds. The temps above freezing, 40 downtown, 35 in Frederick. Look at that, 40 in Romney at 6 a.m. in the morning. By 9 o'clock, 44 downtown and also in Fredericksburg, 42 in Leesburg. And we're looking at 43 in Bowie. Now by 1 o'clock lunchtime, most folks back in the 50s, and I think these numbers are a wee bit low. That southeast wind will keep it a little bit cooler tomorrow inland, and it will keep it rather chilly right along the west side of the bay. Temperatures there only in the upper 40s for highs. By 536 o'clock, temperature still 56 in Leesburg, 55 downtown, and 58 Fredericksburg. Fredericksburg point south might just not, uh, touch 60 tomorrow. And then tomorrow night at this time, clouds begin to increase. And that will keep some of the temperatures up a little bit. I mean, 49 by this time tomorrow night and 45 in Gaithersburg. But notice on the legend, there are no uh, green blobs anywhere, so it's still dry. We may see a shower late, late tomorrow night and on Wednesday. But uh, again, not a lot heading our way. So on the day planner, then 40 to start, 44 by 9 o'clock, 50 by 11 o'clock, and 54 uh, by 1 o'clock with some clouds rolling in. But again, just high and mid-level clouds. We'll throw a shower in Wednesday. Not a huge deal. Back to 66. 70. 70 on Thursday. A shower possible late or at night. Friday, a lot of clouds, but still 72. And then showers on Saturday. Probably our best chance for showers as a cold front approaches. And then maybe a little reality check here. Not, not an extreme reality check, but back to 53 on Sunday and back to 49 with sunshine on Monday. Thank you, Topper. March 1st, the fire chief in Prince George's County is retiring again. Mark Bashur was pulled out of retirement to lead the county's fire department. In a story you'll see only on 9 tonight, the chief opens up to our Stephanie Ramirez about his hopes for the future. And he also talks about one of the darkest days in department history. The day a firefighter was shot and killed just doing his job. It was a delicate time. It was absolutely a crisis, even with Skillet having been shot and with uh, Swain being shot and with all that going on, we've got 900,000 people that are expecting us to answer calls. So one of the most difficult things was telling people, um, you know, allowing them to grieve, but also telling them, you know what, we, we need to focus on our mission. And our mission is to answer these calls. Says retiring Prince George's County Fire Department Chief Mark Bayshore, who's been with the department for over 35 years, you know chief for more stuff. than six. Mm -hmm. He tells us one of the reasons he didn't want to leave yet is because he wanted to make sure firefighter John Almschneider or Skillet's case would get its day in court. None of us had ever been through a line of duty shooting of a firefighter. The shooter ended up pleading guilty on weapons charges January 20th, the same day Bayshore marked 30 years since he graduated recruitment school. We talked to the Bowie born and raised chief about his accomplishments during his tenure, which we had no idea until now, maybe thanks to Channel 9. He was a weather department intern who met an employee named Rich Adams. He was a lifetime member at Bethesda Chevy Chase Rescue Squad in Montgomery County. And Rich was the one who convinced me to join the fire department. That was at 16. It wasn't all smooth since then, but today the chief is credited for things like doubling the number of stations and establishing the Adopt a Neighborhood program. He's the county's second largest serving fire chief overseeing the nation's largest paid and volunteer department. And he believes it's time to go. But that second thing keeps...